In this video, I built the fastest mushroom farm in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Mushrooms are ideal because they drop cooked beef and are the only mobs that spawn on a mushroom island. Enjoy the video. I have all the materials here, and this is probably an excess amount. Let's go build this farm. The spot I've chosen is in this direction. We're gonna pass by the laggiest farm I've ever built. Oh, there's all the frames dropping. Or I have a really sketchy pathway that goes this way. Well that was really weird, I think the pearls just went right through the portal. And here I am at a brand new area that I've never before shown on camera. This will be featured in the next video actually. So yeah, just stay tuned for that. This is this is an azalea tree farm that took way too long to build, but it was well worth it. Definitely the most complicated thing I've ever tried to design and build in my world. At least for now. But that's not the reason I'm here. I'm here for the Mushroom Island. And this is a pretty big one, which is perfect for what I want to do. And now I'm going to tower up probably about 50 to 75 blocks in the air. This high should be good, so I'm going to start building a little bit of a platform here. I never realized that there's an even bigger section over here. Wow, I might have to build something over here. But this section of the island area is massive. Way bigger than what I need it for. However, this is 10,000 blocks away. I don't know if I will build anything over here. So now, from here I'm going to build 20 blocks in each direction. Oh, perfect. This is a locator map. Okay. So while I don't need the actual coordinates on the map, I do need to know which way is north. As mobs always spawn on the northwest corner of a block, I can figure out which way I need to put the portals. And the portals should all be on the north side of where the mobs spawn. So right here. Now before I forget, I actually need to go all the way down here with a shulker box. And now it's time to fill it up with mycelium because that's the only block that mushrooms spawn on. I hope I find something cool to do with this place later, but for now it kind of looks like a dump. That looks like enough mycelium, so it's time to start building. I've also realized that I need to extend the platform by one block in each direction. Hey look at that, it's working already. Here's the general pattern that I have to make. Now it's time to complete these portals. Looks like one section of the farm used exactly six stacks of obsidian. That is not cheap. It doesn't look like it's that much when you place it all down. It's a lot. And there's the last quadrant complete. And that's almost all of my obsidian used up. That was an, an entire shulker box. Sure, the shape is a little wonky, but it works, or it will work. Anywhere where I just see a little bit dark, I'm gonna put in some torches. The nether portals will light things up a little bit, but the, it's not quite enough to make a difference at night, which is why I need all the torches. Now what I'm actually gonna do is instead of lighting the portals first, I'm going to make the nether side first by dividing all the coordinates in 8. Now according to my calculations, it should be right on this block. Alright, that's the portal lit. That did a lot of damage. So before things get too out of hand, I'm just going to light one portal on each of the quadrants and make sure each quadrant links. Time to see if they link. This one linked good. It's already working. We're getting mushrooms. I wasn't ready for you guys yet. Time to make the kill chamber. All right, here's the temporary uh, kill chamber setup. There's definitely room for improvement on this. Of course, there's a ghast right there. I need to spawn proof this area. This is a mess. Look at this, so many skeletons. 
time to light all of the portals. Things might get a little bit laggy. There we go. All the portals have been lit. Now it's probably going to be a little bit hard, difficult to tell when things are spawning, but if you saw right over there, they flash for just one second. They're immediately taken out of the mob cap, which makes this farm so OP, especially when it is fully completed. It's been literally 30 seconds. Let's go see how many mushrooms there are. What? How did they... Huh? How did so many of them get out? And also, why are they not cooked? I'm literally killing them on a campfire. What do you mean? There's a skeleton down here somewhere. Oh, they're fighting. Let's get rid of these. Um, I am very confused how this many mushrooms managed to escape. Oh, I'm literally- I was literally being stupid, that's why. Chill, skeletons! Yeah, this whole spot here was supposed to be blocked off. Why are there so many skeletons here? What? I just realized that I should check the other side if I can even get around there. Without dying. Yeah, I'm just gonna box this completely up, completely up because there are probably a bunch that got over this way, but they despawned. There we go. No! Let me through the portal. Jeez, skeletons. How? Why are so many spawning? Now hopefully it'll be a real test. It is filling up quite fast. So I'm back at the main base here, and I was going to grab some more materials. And I've also found out that campfires no longer cook the meat when the mob dies on them for some reason. So I have to switch over to a lava blade. I really need to make this tunnel better at some point. But it's kind of fun to just spam ender pearls down it. Alright, that's the kill chamber successfully modified. So now I'm going to go test it. I really hope that wasn't the only one. Oh, it wasn't. <laughs> there we go. Now it's cooked. So after approximately one minute, we got two and a half stacks of food and 58 leather. Wow, rain is going crazy outside my window right now. So now it's been two and a half minutes officially. Time to go check how much food I got. I was originally going to do 5 minutes, but I'm worried that's going to uh, break my game or cause me to die or something crazy. I feel like this might take a while for all the items to filter through. I really want to be able to see it, but I just don't load in fast enough. And this was the haul of just two and a half minutes. What? The funny part is I already have all this food, so technically I didn't even need this, especially since villagers are a thing. But now I will never have to worry about food ever again. Plus, I love having a ridiculously OP farm that is completely unnecessary. Unfortunately, about an hour and a half of the actual video files got corrupted, which means that I have to cut until the very end of the video. I didn't want to have to do this, but it's not worth it to just have me talking on a blank screen. That also is the reason why this video is going to be a lot shorter than they usually are. It's almost done. Just a few more portals. And there we go. All of the portals are now complete. This thing is crazy already. <laughs> I still have just a little bit of obsidian left, but this is definitely what you call portal spamming. I've got the flint and steel, and it's time to light all of these portals. Actually, first I just realized I need to put torches down. Because they're not all the spots are light enough. And there we go. The farm is complete. This is insane. I don't know why I even need this to go this overboard. But I did. Now time to go to the nether side. Oh. Oh, oh my goodness. 
Uh, that was a lot of mushrooms. I don't know if the hoppers can even keep up. That's insane. Time to see how much I get in two minutes. All right, that's enough time. Time to go see how many mushrooms. And doing this will actually help me calculate the, the rates. Because AFKing for an hour does not sound like it'd be good for the Xbox. And after two minutes, this is what the farm has produced. So after two minutes, 434 cooked beef, which is um, uh, just about 13,000 cooked beef an hour. That, that's a lot. That, that is way too much. <laughs> that's also 207 leather per hour. Two minutes, which gives us about 6,000 leather an hour. That is crazy. Now, I don't know how accurate these actually are because I didn't run it for an hour, obviously. But it's pretty close. I wasn't there for all that much longer than two minutes if I was there longer than two minutes. Well, now I need something to do with all of this. Um, I have no clue. This is the problem with big, building a big farm like this. Now, I have so much of it that I just don't know what to do with it all. I easily have more than a shulker, if not two shulkers, just of cooked beef alone right now. Oh, it's so laggy. I, oh, the, that jump took forever. Why is that cow on fire up there? What? <laughs> yes, I know. Sorry, it's not a cow. Oh. <laughs> Time to go run it again. Ah, skeleton, stop. Oh, that's a ghast. Oh, I got him. Let's go. There's so many. There's so many. How is this still going on? What? I wonder how much XP I get from this. Oh! That's an entire double chest full of cooked beef. Let's go. I don't think that I need food ever again in this world. I can literally go sit at this farm for like three minutes and get all the food I need for four months. There's not a point that I need to run this again. You know, I should have built this on Midway's SMP. That would have been much more effective because then I could at least sell all of this for dirt cheap too and no one else would get food anywhere else. Next time I'm in an SMP, this is exactly what I'm going to build. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed, please be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. King T out.